We're gonna look at a preppy coastal with a touch of bohemian styled bookcase in this case. And I'm excited to show you how I would style this. So I'm gonna start just by placing some of my larger items, artwork first, a few larger vases. And as we go through the bookcase styling, you're gonna find that I will nudge things around. I'll start moving things. This is exactly what you should do too. Wherever you set something initially, doesn't have to be its final resting place. You can start moving things around as the bookcase starts to come together. But I'm gonna start layering in some of my taller pieces keeping in mind that I don't want all of my tall pieces to be on the same shelf or within the same grouping. We're next going to start layering in some books and some smaller accessories. So you wanna give yourself a little bit of wiggle room and not group all of your big pieces together. So I'm gonna start pulling in some of these other colored vases. I'm mixing in some good glass pieces, some ceramic. I'll pull in some wood elements as well. I like that these still work with the preppy coastal because they give it this vibe of driftwood, a little bit of that natural element that you would find in a coastal vibe or a coastal environment. Next, I'm gonna start gathering some of my books and I'll show you how to style those as well. What I really like about books is that no matter what the title is, the color is, they're pretty style agnostic. A lot of us have books, whether it's just a few or hundreds, um, we need a place to put them and they're gonna work with any style no matter what you're trying to do with your bookcase or what direction you're trying to go in. Because we're looking at a preppy coastal bookcase, I've actually pulled in a lot of books that mimic those same colors. So we can start layering these in. You'll wanna do a good mix of horizontal books as well as some books stacked vertically. We'll just start filling in some of these empty spaces. So now that we've started placing some of our larger books, the next step is to fill in with some smaller accessories. So this can be knickknacks that you have around the house, small vases, and even items that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find in a bookcase. This can be a really cute pitcher, a sugar dish, any other household object that you can start to fill in these spaces. So I'm gonna gather those and show you how to place those as well. I actually have some traditional bookends. These are little pineapples, which is very coastal and a great way to continue on with that theme. So now we can start layering in some of these other pieces that we have here to fill out the rest of our vignettes. I'm gonna focus on this one here because it's still feeling a little bit empty. We have one tall vase and our little stack of books. I wanna round this out. In keeping in line with our grouping of three, um, this is a really great spot to include one more small vase to create this little element here that has this really nice grounding effect, allows our eye again to go from high to low and back again. This does still feel a little bit empty and we have some room to fill in to get that vertical height that we've been looking for. I am gonna pull in some greenery as a great little finishing touch for this little vignette here. That to me is looking pretty good. So we can move on, come back to this vignette here to really round this out. We don't have a ton of depth. So what I wanna do is add something in front here that's really going to make this feel a little more complete, fill in some of that negative space. Something like, use this little bird. It's playful, it's fun, and it's something that'll work with a lot of different styles. So this is starting to feel a little more complete to me. We got to focus on some of these vignettes behind me. In this vignette here, we have a lot of height, whether it's from the glass face or these tall cutting boards, and we need something to draw our eye back down and bring us back full circle. So I'm going to add something a little bit lower right here. Something like this little bowl is a great playful way to pull in the glass color, this really great sea green, and then tie it into this vignette to create this really nice rounded out effect. What I'm really not lacking so far is tying in this plant. He needs a friend. We need a little bit more greenery to, again, balance out the space and give us something to land on over here that's a little bit similar to what we already have on the opposite side of the bookcase. I'm going to use this great aloe plant. This is feeling a little empty with books, so if you're someone who does have a lot of books, use your bookcase to your advantage. You can start pulling in as many or as few books as you'd like. What I like to do when I'm styling my own bookcases is group my books by color. When you're styling your own bookcases, you don't always have to do these small groups of books. You can actually do something a little bit more dramatic and put a large grouping of books all together in one place. It's looking better, but not quite what I want. So I'm gonna move some things around again. Let's do a good mix of some books that are vertical, some books that are horizontal. This gives us a nice natural spot for us to put our plant. Gives us some vertical height, really balances it out, ties into the other plant that we have over here, and gives us a more complete vignette. 
you'll start to notice as you're filling in your bookcase that as you get towards the end, this is where you're going to start to rearrange things. They're not going to be exactly where you want them to, and that's perfectly okay. So right now I'm struggling because I have this empty space and I need to fill it with something that's not too colorful because we have a lot of color going on here and also something that's not too tall and fits really well proportion wise with the other pieces around it. So I'm going to pull in this really sculptural white piece here. Obviously it's not very colorful, but adds a really great element of interest. So I'm gonna start with that and layer in a couple other smaller pieces. Another thing that this vignette to me is kind of lacking is this element of gold. We don't have a ton of that seen throughout the bookcase. So this is something that we can easily pull in to create a more cohesive look. So I'm gonna pull in this little mister. Then we can take a step back, look at your bookcase, and again, start to identify where those gaps are. I'm seeing that there's a little bit of a white space here, so I wanna fill that in. Looking back at this bookcase again, it's almost exactly where I want it to be. As we look at this Preppy Coastal bookcase in its final stages, we can really start to notice the color palette. It's very different from where we started with the client's original bookcase, but we've kept it to a pretty cohesive color palette of cool colors. The main colors I focused on here are these blues, purples, little bits of green, and a few pops of a warmer pink or salmon. To give myself this sense of balance, I've made sure not to group too many colors together and I've really spread out my blues, my purples, my greens, all of that to create this really nice sense of balance. So within each vignette, like this one here, I have the blue vase, a little bit of blue here with the vase and the bowls, a blue in the ocean artwork, a little bit of this kind of cool green, not quite blue, but it still gives us that color there in this little vignette, some blue in the books, and even though in this top vignette, there's not a true blue, we get a lot of those cool grays that give you that same feeling and still creates that sense of blue um, harmony throughout the rest of the bookcase. With this color palette, we've also kept a really soft, subdued, more muted color palette in mind. So none of these colors are super saturated. They all have a little bit of this smoky gray haze to them. For instance, this purple vase is not a bright purple. It's more of a really soft lilac. You'll see that mimicked here with a more subdued blue, this really soft seafoam green, and then again with some of these more muted colors over in this neutral vignette. So within each of these vignettes, I've kept in mind that I want to have a little bit of asymmetry, nothing that's too much taller or too much smaller, but something that creates this sense of balance. We have a couple pieces that are a little bit taller that draw your eye down naturally. As opposed to some of the other vignettes in this bookcase, our tallest piece is actually our group of books. So that's where your eye naturally starts and we layer it in with a couple smaller pieces. So your eye naturally draws to this medium height vase, back down to this small little bud vase, down to the pineapple, and then back up again, which creates this really nice sense of proportion and scale within that vignette. To round out this preppy coastal bookcase, we're going to focus on rhythm and repetition and the idea of having these repeated elements throughout our styled look. As we've talked about, color is a really great way to pull this in. We've already highlighted the blue, but one other thing to look at is that I've also pulled in this kind of curveball color of this pink salmon color. So I have it up here in this top shelf, and then I've also pulled a little bit of it in on the opposite side. This immediately is going to give you this sense of repetition because it's in the opposite sides of the bookcase, allows your eye to go from side to side and back. So creates this really nice sense of drawing the eye throughout the bookcase. Once you've gone through and placed your final elements in your bookcase, remember that it's not necessarily done. You can always go back and change things up if you're looking for a creative outlet, maybe you find a new book, or you wanna shake up and add a new piece of artwork or a new picture frame, your bookcase is never done. The elements that we're applying into the bookcase here can also transcend into other parts of your home. So once you've really nailed your bookcase and you feel like you're in a really good spot, you understand these principles and you understand your design style, this is where you can start to pull your knowledge into the rest of your room. You can experiment with styling other elements like your sofa, your bed, pulling in pops of color, experimenting with gallery walls, and using this foundational knowledge to really create a cohesive and full design for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.